Hey there, Impact Communicators. My name is Neeraj Farooq and I am an Impact Communication Coach. Today's video is to help guide you on how you could disagree with more tact, more tactfully. So before I get on to it, I want to share with you, I am in favor of disagreements. Now, even though I would of course love a scenario of peace and harmony, I believe disagreements is where we evolve, is where new possibilities open up, is where we can go beyond just one style of thinking. Imagine how boring a world it would be if we were all thinking the same thing. So for me, a whole new world of possibilities opens up the minute there is a disagreement in the room and I believe a disagreement can be heard. So this is where I want to offer you where you can disagree with more tact. Firstly, can you weigh your pros and cons? Does every situation have to be disagreed on? I'm sure there are some moments you can just let pass. Weigh the consequences. What is it that will happen if I choose to not disagree? And then accordingly take your action. So when you have finally found your space where you must disagree on something, it could be a boardroom meeting, it could be a discussion within the family. These are two ways you can disagree with tact. The first one is about a soft challenge. And this is how it would frame. Now, when somebody said something and you didn't quite agree with it, instead of saying, oh, what a foolish idea, or I, I don't quite agree, you could say it with a little more softness, where you'd say, really, how would that work? Or you could say, interesting. And what will we do when this shows up? This is the way you allow the other person to open up into a dialogue space where the other person can share their stand and where they were really coming from. The second one that I want to share with you is about where you can find a common ground. So disagree, but before that, state the common ground. So let me give you an example. While I agree with you that we must do budget cuts, can I ask you to consider if there's another way of doing it apart from letting go of people? This is how you are offering a space of, I agree with you that this is necessary. Can we consider something else? And that's where you could present your opinion. And a third, quickest way in which you could instantly respond in a spontaneous way is, I think differently, may I share? And then you take on the position of sharing how you feel or how you think about the given situation. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this was valuable for you and you could see how you could practically apply this in your day-to-day -day conversations. Please write in for anything else that you'd like to see in the space of impact communication and executive presence. I have left an email address right in the details given below. I look forward to seeing you again. Take care. Bye-bye.